Today, we are going to be talking about the redeemed. They also have another name for them, which I'll get onto in the video, which is a huge thing, especially if you're a Dark Angel fan. Actually, this entire video, if you are a Dark Angel fan, this affects you the most. Now, before we do jump into the main part of this lore, I just want to say this video does contain spoilers for the new Lion novel, Lion Son of the Forest, and also the Lion Arcs of Omen book. If you're currently reading them, if you haven't read them, and you don't want to be spoiled, please leave the video right now. This is your first and only spoiler warning. Now, for those of you who are still here in the video, let's jump in and talk about the redeemed, or as Lion L. Johnson himself calls them, the risen. The fallen and the risen are two separate things now in Warmer 40,000, and this is going to affect the Dark Angels in a big way. So just to bring everyone up to speed, so we're all on the same level, so we all know what's going on, Lion L. Johnson has recourse returned to the warmer 40,000 setting on his journey as he's been um, uh, forest walking, as he's been going out there and discovering this new Imperium, he's come across some fallen Marines. Now, the Lion himself has judged these fallen as being redeemed, as risen from the ranks of the fallen. He doesn't see them as the bad guys. He doesn't see them as chaos. These fallen who have now become risen, redeemed, if you want, whatever you want to call them, let's just call them redeemed for the purpose of this. Risen or redeemed. Do you know what? I'll call them risen for the purpose of this video. So these new risen Marines have now swore a brand new oath of loyalty to the lion and also to the emperor of mankind. So they are once again serving the Imperium. They're serving the Emperor. They're serving the Lion. And potentially, they will be serving the Dark Angels as well. And I think this is where we're going to start to see a ripple effect of problems, arguments, maybe even some battles going on. Because what we know now with factual evidence is that some of the Dark Angels know the Risen. Actually, I'm sure all the Dark Angels know like the Risen are now following the Lion for the simple purpose. By the end of the Arcs of Omen Lion book, the Lion had returned to the rock and the rock was leaving the system but also while they were fighting on the ground or should i say the um hybrid caliban planet that they were fighting on um one of the risen uh, a risen called bulls actually came in contact with azrael he put his hand on azrael's shoulder and he was like you know uh we'll we'll hold them off you get them back to like the um uh, like the pickup bit so you can get off this planet and azrael was like disgusted by him even putting his hand on his shoulder because Azrael knows, well, he kind of knows like what this person is. He's seen a fallen before. He knows, he knows what they are. So you gotta have this like inner conflict now within the Dark Angels thinking, well, these were fallen. We know what the fallen were. They they, you know, some of them are tainted by chaos, some of them betrayed the oaths to the the Emperor, to uh, the Lion, to to Caliban, to the Dark Angels themselves. How can they come back in after saying a few words and be trusted again? It's gonna cause so much bloody conflict. And this is what I'm really, really looking forward now, going forward into 10th, how this is going to outburst and ripple out. And on top of that, you also have the Inquisition potentially learning about this. And we know how the Inquisition tends to overreact to situations. So again, if you go back to the Arcs of Omen Lion book, the, the out pages, the last couple of pages, was all about the um, Inquisitor Lord uh, Cortez. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that name right. He had learned that the, the lion had returned to the setting. He learned that a huge battle had taken place at the Somnium Stars, and he literally activated all his agents. This is an Inquisitor Lord activating everything. So you know there's some stuff that's about to go down. With the Inquisition learning about another Primarch returning, okay, that's, you know, that's nothing. You know, Gilliman's returned before. They'll probably open their arms to the Lion. Yes, you are a son of the Emperor. But to then see Marines that potentially were enemies following him around and the Lion has passed judgment on them, saying, no, they're, they're good now, they follow me, I'm not sure how the Inquisition would react to that. Maybe the Inquisition kills one of them, a couple of them, and we all know <laughs> the personality of the lion. He's eager to take that the wrong way, and is that going to cause, like, 
a little bit of a battle within itself. I'm not saying we're going to get a civil war. That is the last thing I want. We've, we're literally just finishing the Horus Heresy right now. I've had enough of civil wars. I want the Imperium to come together as best as they can and purge the forces of chaos. But like I keep saying, I think there's definitely going to be something slung in there that is going to cause a lot of drama going forward in the narrative law in 10th edition. Now, before people start saying, well, what does this mean for the Dark Angels? Their whole identity was the Fallen, their secret and stuff like that. Is that disappearing now? Are they just going to be another boring generic chapter? No, they circles within circles within circles. This was made clear in one of the cipher books is that there's factions of Fallen and there's factions within that factions, if that makes sense. I'm sorry, I'm probably lost your... This is very alfarious right now. So the Fallen themselves, there's different levels of Fallen. There's the Fallen who are just basically, oh my God, I got tossed through a warp portal. What the hell's going on? There's Fallen who are like, I hate the Emperor. I hate uh, the Lion. I'm all for a free Caliban. I hate Chaos, right? And then there's Fallen who are like, I have given myself over to the powers of of chaos and i serve the dark gods there's so many different levels to this so i don't think that's going to be affected at all i still think the dark angels are still going to have that purpose hunting down like the bad bad fallen maybe they'll come across some fallen where they can see them as risen redeemed and they can come to some type of you know talks and stuff like that which i don't think asmodai is going to do that but you know that is another story for another time but basically what i'm trying to say we're opening the door now to so many different paths where we can go down the narrative with this new faction and talking about this as a new faction the potential now of having new models about all of this if there's one thing i've always said about the fallen about the dark angels is that they should have had a range of like specific fallen models that show them off on the tabletop like what they did before was what well, i think you just painted some armor black of the dark angels and like okay this is fallen but now you have the bit like the the opportunity the potential of from games workshop to add a whole bunch of different models to this range to really show them off i'm actually quite let down that in the lion guard box they put out it was just blade guard after learning like the risen of following the lion they would have been an amazing opportunity to add like a character like boars and some of the other ones who are following the line around as that lion's guard that would have been absolutely amazing i would have said it would have sold even better but with the way it actually did sell out the box set and games workshop not making enough good old games workshop as as normal right not preparing for people buying bloody primarchs um that just sold out instantly but i really 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 do think now that we will get models we are got to get some really big lore going forward with all this new risen and it's going to be incredible I, I i just love the direction that we're going in right that's enough waffling for me if you love foil rack fridays it's coming back tomorrow of course i'm recording this video right now on a thursday so when i say tomorrow it is friday so hopefully you're not watching this on a saturday and thinking wait what the hell this is a friday tomorrow but you get it foil rack fridays are returning and it's going to be a big one we're going back to terror because this conspiracy goes all the way back to the golden throne the Emperor is in on this. See you now. Have a great day and bye-bye.